Hello and welcome back to another Secondhand Sunday video. Today the weather is very fallish, winterish outside, so that's why I'm using the wonderful natural lighting and hoping that we don't have like some totally freakish darkness thing happen while I'm filming. But anyhow, you're here probably to see what I collected over the last little while through thrifting. And that's why I'm here too. I'm here to show you that. So I'll do that now. This haul is definitely going to be in a no particular order kind of haul because I can't remember the order of the haul. So this kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But the first thing I wanted to show you was actually some felt that I picked up for a dollar. A dollar for these two pieces and I actually have a plan with what I'm gonna do with the said felt. So the pieces are long. So is that like a meter? Maybe a meter. And I am planning on making some garland out of this so you'll have to stay tuned and be subscribed to my channel and place your like your votes below to will this take Catherine six months will it take her six years you can decide how long it will take me to actually manage to turn my two long bits of felt into Christmas what do they even call it it's not bunting Christmas circle ring garland? What do they call it? Paper chains? But they're not paper, are they? They're, they're felt chains. So Christmas felt chains, how long will it take me to make them is anybody's guess. I should also mention that I got these items when I was spending some time with a few of my children, like one-on-one -on -one time. So I did get some footage in the thrift store of things that I saw that I really liked and I was like oh I really want these but I was a big girl and I decided not to buy them so stick to the end of the video where you'll see kind of a few of the items that caught my eye but I had to be like will you use these where will you put them will you be likely to declutter these in 12 months you know those Questions that we should ask ourselves when we're actually thrifting rather than be like, I just want everything. Just give me all the things. We have to temper it and be self-controlled. It, it can be really hard though. Can you relate to that? Because I've totally been there. I think I said in my last video that I probably shouldn't buy any more DVDs or Blu-rays for a while. This is, this is now, I'll officially be like, just settle down. So I got the Smurfs too. And I got the Borrowers. I have never seen the Borrowers movie. It's John Goodman, isn't it? Does it say? Does it tell me? John Goodman. So two Blu-rays, $2 each, not a bad price. I prefer a dollar, but you know. $2 is all right. I am sure that I have mentioned in another video of mine that I like to use like reusable things. So like I've made um, like Christmas stockings obviously for the kids or like we call them Santa bags, but we don't do Santa. So like at Christmas time, the presents go in an individual bag so they don't have single use items. But I live with people who kind of enjoy single use items from time to time. So I bought some wrapping paper, which will go in my stash. I have just one of those like document folders that I keep cards and mail type stuff and wrapping paper in. So I got Snoopy. Like birthday clowns. I like this one because it has like a vintage -y vibe to it. I don't know if it's vintage, but it looks like that. 
And then these ones are, one I love plaid and two, they're sort of like man type wrapping papers. And like I said, 20 cents. So 20 cents is a good price for me to pick up a couple of wrapping papers for my uh, document thing I told you about. I found a brand new with tags shirt for my son and it was 50% off day. So I got this brand new shirt for $1.50. And my son's favorite color is green and obviously like he was with me. So he was like, yes, I want this. This will be fabulous. And he wore it like pretty much straight away. So I said, can I have the shirt back so I can show my people and then you can have your shirt back. So now I've done it. We're all back in line with what I said would happen. When I went out the other day to thrift, I was actually spending some one-on-one -on -one time with one of my children and she wanted to also go to the regular shops. I know it's just a weird feeling, but she wanted to go to Kmart and Target and stuff like that. And she already had been looking at op shops for nail polish, but didn't find any, no luck. So we went to Target, she bought two nail polish colors, and then we went to one last thrift store before we came home. And what did I find? Nail polish. So this color is one shade brighter than what she purchased. I got it for 50 cents. Can you see that? It's like a rosy color. It's called, does it have names? I'm so like out of, it doesn't say. So I'll just call it made in France. <laughs> and so 50 cents. She paid like $3.50 each for the one she got at the shop and I paid 50 cents. So she was a little bit like, Ugh. good thing was it, it wasn't like exactly the same shade as the one she bought. Cause that would have really been like, who no. So we now have three nail polishes in the house that we can enjoy. I don't want to say I've been influenced, but I think I've kind of been influenced in having a one extra pillow on my bed. But I'm like, I've got to find it at a thrift store for it to be worth it. So for $3, I found this very bright white pillow. It has a fringe, which I'm not a fan of, but I actually want to sew my own cover for it. And... I've never done a zipper thing before in my life. So I'm a little bit terrified of that. But on the other side, yeah, it smells clean, but <laughs> on the other side is palm trees with the fringe. I don't know, maybe for now I can cut off these and have it on my bed, just that side until I actually get over my fear of zippers. So any people out there who've ever sewn zippers before, you can like send your good vibes that like you can do it. You can sew zippers, but three bucks, second hand, good condition, nice and puffy and comfortable. Um, and it'll be good extra lumbar support when I'm slacking off in bed. I was gonna say smoking seas. <laughs> I don't smoke. Don't smoke, guys. It's bad for you. But um, yeah, it'll just be extra handy and we'll have to transform. So this will go along with my how long will it take Catherine to make the felt rings? How long will it take me to make a pillow cover? The jury's out. I feel like because I'm like videoing it's like evidence that could be in a court of law let's say by December 31st, 2022, 11.59 PM, I'll have, no, I don't even want to say that. <laughs> I don't even want to admit that uh, by like the end of the year that I'll be done. So that's bad, but uh, hey, at least I'm being totally honest with you when I say that. 
Last but not least, I bought something that I actually was thinking about reselling, but my kids really love it. So it's a book, cost me $2, and it is D, is it DK? DK Star Wars. How is it possible that I like look at the front of the book and then I hold it up and I like immediately forget what it says? Character encyclopedia featuring 200 plus heroes, villains, and many more. So, no writing in the book. Hardcover, which I love because they last longer. There's our mate Django. But yeah, so, I don't know. I thought about reselling, but now I don't know. So, but this falls into the whole Blu ray thing. I've got to stop buying books. And I gotta stop buying Blu-rays. And honestly, this is so conflicting with my minimalism, decluttering, simple living, organized home. I don't know, I don't know about the longevity of my uh, secondhand Sunday videos because I don't wanna just chock a block the house with stuff. So maybe I'll just do like shop with me videos where I show you what's in the op shop so I don't actually buy anything unless it's like something amazing yeah that's just me you know thinking just chatting amongst friends working out what I actually want to do but anyhow that's it that I didn't buy a heap of stuff I bought stuff that was kind of like on my list and yeah so this is the part where I say to you guys what did you find this week? Did you find anything amazing that you've been searching for for a long time? Or did you find something that maybe was a good gift for someone you love and cherish in your life? Let me know, let me know what you got because I love hearing about what other people got. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I like showing people what I purchased in like my last little while. Usually it's fairly recent, it's like the week before. I don't even know if I will get a chance to go thrifting again soon, but I'm sure I'll tell you about it if I do. So thanks for watching my video. I will continue to see you in other videos and that's it. That's all I got. I will, oh yeah, yeah, I, I told you before. Now I'll show you all the stuff I saw when I went to the thrift store. And then after that, the video will end and then it'll be over. And then I'll see you again. Yeah. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference Oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul